Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. This is Artifacts of Mars, and thank you for listening to Tyranny Watch News. Uh, the Obama administration, as I have predicted before, is planning to force communities to house illegals. I predicted that this type of thing would happen. Eventually, they're going to be forcing you to take them into your home. Make no mistake about it. This was predicted in one of my uh, posts. Hold on to your homes. Look it up if you don't believe me. The Obama administration in July 2013 quietly introduced a new regulation that critics say will dramatically increase Washington's power over local zoning laws in every city and town that accepts federal block grants through the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD. The stories on WorldNet Daily. As fellow grants that can be used as a hook in those of these cities, forcing them to house illegal immigrants against their will. Some are calling it Common Core of zo Local Zoning that has flown under the radar for nearly a year, instead of the U.S. Department of Education dictating education standards to local schools, this rule changed the law had to influence zoning laws from the biggest cities to the tiniest towns. Some say new rule racial quotas will be exploded by HUD to aggressively absorbed the nation's sprawling population of illegal immigrants, otherwise known as invaders, in the communities that are trying to keep them out. What this amounts to, as I've stated before, is that they want to force you, they want to force you to take illegals in. Because there isn't any place to put them. The coyote in chief is bringing them in, they saw the problem by saying, well, you're going to house them or you don't get any money, you don't get any help, then eventually you won't even re rely on that, I'm sure. Eventually your houses will be confiscated, as I have said in my uh, video, I don't take anything back. There's more to this. Let's take a look at some other uh, invasion news that relates. Uh, Governor Corbett of Pennsylvania Immigration continues to be a hot topic in the U.S. including in non-border states like Pennsylvania. Governor Tom Corbett address the issue and how it affects PA, saying health is a major concern. We feel for these children that are fleeing their countries. We want to make sure they are taken care of and returned to their countries, but we are also concerned about their health and what they may cause as far as health issues in the state of Pennsylvania. In other words, they're bringing in diseases and they're going to make you sick, children sick, Many of these diseases don't have any vaccine to them. So that's the kind of thing that we have going on here. One of the things that's coming in is measles. Uh, 
there's a number of different viruses and chicken pox. God only knows what else. So that's from uh, Pennsylvania. They're worried about being able to house them and what's going to happen. In the state of Maryland, so the poor schools are being overwhelmed by illegal aliens. In Quincy, 2013, 35% of students in Quincy public schools came home from schools where English was not the first language. That's disgraceful. So the state's poor school districts are already overwhelmed by illegal immigrant children are bracing for a new wave of Central American kids enrolling in the, this fall that officials fear will further drain limited resources for English speaking students. Put another way, your kids And this is from the Boston Herald, by the way. Your kids will be getting a worse and worse education as the illegals come in because more resources will be devoted to them and less to your kids. And the education is just going to be get worse. They want essentially a big, how do I want to put it, a big slave class. English speaking or non English speaking, they essentially want a peasant class, is what it amounts to. That's how they view us. They view us to be peasants. Peasants to be controlled and regulated. I've said this before. I've said that about they're wanting to uh, house illegals in your homes, and it'll get there eventually. We'll start taking your homes to house them. If this is not stopped. And, you know, the first parts of my prediction are already coming true. So we'll look at one more invasion story. This is from CNS News. Unknown number of illegal kids in Virginia County are dropped off without warning by the feds. Prince William County, Virginia has become well known in recent years for its tough stance on the illegal immigration, so you can imagine how upset some local lawmakers were when they learned the federal government had contracted to house illegal alien children in their county without any input from public officials. In other words, they just dropped them, here they are, take care of them. This dovetails with what I've said. You're going to be forced to take care of them, you're not going to have any choice, and they're going to take your houses. They're going to take everything you have, and the FEMA camps are waiting for you if you try to tell them, no, we don't want this. This is going to get worse and worse. It's not going to get better. Unless we get that border shot and start deportations immediately. It's only going to get worse. They've got to go get them treated of diseases they have, get them cleaned up, send them back home. That's what has to happen. MRCTV spoke to Prince William County so. Supervisor Corey Stewart about the situation that was thrust upon his county by the Obama administration. We then attended a count, council meeting where outreach citizens spoke out against the move, had some harsh words from both council members and federal government. Stewart claims he has also heard rumors that the federal government plans to bring in more minors to Prince William County. It's unclear what if any action local authorities can take to stop the continued influx of illegals into their community. 
exactly as predicted. We'll start with public facilities, of course. They're going to run out of those, and your homes are going to be taken from you. You wait and see. This is if this is not stopped. They say get them cleaned up. Send them back home where they belong. I know it's harsh, but legal immigrants come here, work hard to get in this country. They learn language. They uh, do everything the proper way. They they go through living hell to get here. But these people are just walking across the border and breaking our laws. And they don't give two flying. They don't care. They don't care about the law. They're just breaking it brazenly as is the coyote in chief, Barack Obama. Well, there you have it. The country is being invaded. You're living in a tyranny already. Got to wake up, people. This is Tyranny Watch News. Thank you for listening.